My name is Keish Gilcrease from Lockeray in Galway. My name is Alana Whelan from Lockeray in Galway. We go to St. Bridges College. And the name of our project is a mathematical comparison between hurling and camogie. We did this project because we both love camogie and we wanted to see is the sexism there? Do people go to hurling matches just because they're lads? And so we did this project to compare hurling and camogie and see is there much of a difference. Uh, we got matches from 2019 to 2015, um, all senior county hurling and camogie knockout stages matches and we analysed them. Uh, we started the clock at 00, zero and started a timer. And then when the referee blew his whistle, we'd stop the timer and write down the number and count the number of stoppages. We'd repeat this until the match was over. We discovered that in Camogie, the ball is in play for longer, so there is more in play action. Also, there are less stoppages in Camogie, on average about 16%. So that means you get more value for money and it adds to the entertainment factor of the match. Well, it was surprising to see how much stoppages is, there is in Hurling and Camogie. And there was, there was more stoppages in Hurling. There was an average of 16 more stoppages in Hurling. So that meant that the game is longer, but there's still more in-play time action in Camogie and it's not as recognised. I'd definitely encourage people to come to Camogie matches more as there uh, is better value for money as you get to see more of the match and it is just as good a sport as hurling, I believe.